Oh, so it's that time in the week again. How you doing guys? Okay, um, so it's Saturday again, um, first Saturday in July, um, right, okay, uh, so everybody's birthdays is in July, and, um, this week, um, my sister is getting married, uh, yep, and I'm giving her away, so, um, yeah, so, right, okay, um, right, so, um, okay, uh, everybody's birthdays is, uh, in July, uh, my brothers and my sisters, so, um, okay, um, right, I'm going to show you what I bought for my brother. Okay. Right. I'm not uh, going to to open in the wardrobe because everybody's presence is in there. So. Right. Okay. This is more expensive than I usually go to buy people's birthday presents but my brother is 40 today this year so I wanted to buy him something uh, special so okay so this is what I bought him This is what I bought him. Uh, what the? Why the fuck is it? Oh well. As you can see it has windows. Uh. Yeah, anyway, that's his birthday present uh, I've got him. I've, oh, I forgot it doesn't have a touch screen. So as you can see, it's got Windows 10 and on it. Go switch it off now. Right, okay, the big reveal is uh, that um, I uh, also have a laptop. Um, I, uh, <coughs> um, I basically bought it uh, so that I can vlog um, while, I'm, uh, while, I'm, uh, while I'm on my holidays so that I can upload the vlogs while I'm, while I'm at, on my holes. Um, Yeah, it's an HP, um, I bought it, uh, when, I bought it, um, 
before I went to Scotland this year so um, that is how I was able to to upload uh, upload the vlogs while I was uh, in Scotland um, because luckily the b, &B had uh, Wi-Fi um, so um, it's got Windows 10 so big reveal it's out I actually have a laptop okay um, right I'm in uh, Northwich um, as you can see I've uh, had a uh, half uh, my beard uh, shaven um, just uh, ready to I've said before she's getting married um, so um, just having a look around Norwich at the minute okay um, uh, it's uh, Sunday and I forgot to say uh, yesterday I was uh, going to witness after going to a uh, Holtonley um, the shopping centre um, but I abandoned that because uh, the bridge was absolutely horrendous absolutely was horrendous the bridge um, I, uh, um, so the first opportunity I got uh, I went uh, to Northwich instead um, because because of that traffic, uh, it would have t taken me two hours to around about to an hour and a half uh, to get to witness. Okay, um, it's a Tuesday evening and uh, it's uh, pretty sunny and I've decided to take an opportunity to do my walk again. So, um, I'm uh, going up to Runcorn Hill this time. Oh, lovely. Oh, look. Oh, Dino from the Flintstones. He's like... Dino out of the Flintstones. Okay, so uh, yesterday uh, my brother was 40. Um, by the way, it's Thursday today. Um, so, um, seemed uh, pretty pleased with uh, every present he got. Um, I uh, as I said before, I uh, bought I bought him a laptop, uh, a HP laptop. Um, okay, so he seemed pretty pleased with that. So, um, and uh, later on, we went out uh, to uh, Wagamama um, for our tea. Uh, and um, met up uh, with Susan and uh, my future brother-in-law. It's okay. Um, it's a uh, Friday night. Okay. Um, the night uh, before my sister Susan Nixon becomes a uh, Susan. Honking. So I've uh, packed a few necessities. Um, right, okay, I will be uploading uh, the vlog from the hotel um, because I intend to uh, take uh, the, laptop, the laptop with me. Um, well, here it is, um, 
I'm uh, just uh, charging it up now. Right, okay, it's uh, Saturday morning. Um, okay, um, I don't. I have no idea when I'm going to close this vlog off. Um, if it's late being uploaded, um, that is the reason why. So. Um, uh, anyway, thank you very much for bearing with me and uh, everything. So, I'm just up uh, having breakfast at a minute. Okay, so I'm at my mum's. Uh, we're just uh, getting the car loaded up uh, to go to the wedding. Um, so, um, just loading the car up. Oh, what a lovely weather for wedding. Stuck in a traffic jam, lovely. Okay, um, so we've arrived in Manchester. Um, my mum has to get her hair done and um, I'm not sure what time um, the barber's open. Um, yeah. It looks like a coffee shop that we were going to have a drink in that's gone. So. Okay, um, we've arrived at the hotel and everybody's checked in. This vlog is uh, super late. Um, I'm uh, sorry about that guys, but... It's just that some, everything has been absolutely, totally chaotic. Um, well, a wedding isn't a wedding without its uh, what's names and, and stuff. Of the marriage into the register and issue the marriage certificate. On behalf of Manchester City Council and the registration service, we would like to offer you the warmest welcome. We are here today to witness the marriage of Michael William Holcomb and Susan Emma Dixon. On their behalf, I would like to thank you all for joining them on this special occasion. I know it means a great deal to them that you are all here today to share in their happiness. This room in which we are met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriage. Before you are joined in matrimony, it is my duty to remind you both of the solemn and binding character of the vows of marriage you are about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. Our question I now have to ask if there is any person here who knows of any legal reasons why these two people should not be joined here in marriage, then you should declare it. <laughs> the ceremony is a proud confirmation of the love, the respect and the true friendship that you have for each other. Today you will exchange vows which will unite you as husband and wife. The words are a public and formal pledge of your love and a promise of lifelong dedication to each other. We now come to the part of the ceremony where I'm going to invite Ellen forward to our first reading. extract from The Velveteen Rabbit by Marjorie Williams. What is real? asked the rabbit one day when they were lying side by side near the nursery fender before Nana came to tidy the room. Does it mean having things that buzz inside you and, and a stick out handle? 
Real isn't how you were made, said the skin horse. It's a thing that happens to you. When someone loves you for a long, long time, not just to play with, but really loves you, then you become real. Does it hurt? asked the rabbit. Sometimes, said the skin horse, for he was always truthful. When you are real, you don't mind being hurt. Does it happen all at once, like being wound up, he asked, or bit by bit? It doesn't happen all at once, said the skin horse. You become. It takes a long time. That's why it doesn't happen often to people who break easily, or who have sharp edges, or, or, or who have to be carefully kept. Generally, by the time you are real, most of your hair has been lobbed off, your, and your eyes drop out, and you lose your joint. You get loose in your joints, and are very shabby. But those things don't matter at all, because once you are real, you can't be ugly, except to people who don't understand. I suppose you are real, asked the rabbit, and then he wished he had not said it, for he thought the skin horse only smiled. Someone made me real, he said. That was a great many years ago. But once you are real, you can't become unreal again. It lasts for always. Mike and Susan, we now come to the declaration. This is your freedom to marry that you need to declare in front of the family. I declare. I declare. That I know. That I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Michael William Holcomb. Why I, Michael William Holcomb. May not be joined. May not be joined. In marriage. In marriage. To Susan Emma Nixon. To Susan Emma Nixon. Susan. <coughs> <laughs> I declare. I declare. That I know. That I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Susan Emma Nixon. Why I, Susan Emma Nixon. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Michael William Holcomb. Michael William Holcomb. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Mike, will you take Susan to be your wife? And do you promise to remain true to her for the rest of your lives together? I will. Susan, will you take Mike to be your husband, and do you promise to remain true to him for the rest of your lives together? I will. Perfect. Well, we now come to the contract, the legal and the binding part of the ceremony here this afternoon. These vows will seal your marriage here today, and when you exchange these words to one another, you will be united as husband. I call upon these persons. I call upon these persons. Here present to witness. Here present to witness. That I, Michael William Holkin. That I, Michael William Holkin. Do take thee, Susan Emma Nixon. Do take thee, Susan Emma Nixon. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Susan Emma Nixon. Susan Emma Nixon. Do take thee, Michael William Holkin. Do take thee, Michael William Holkin. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. That's like a lady with a round of applause. <laughs> ending and everlasting love and it's also the outward sign of the lifelong promise you are making here today to each other. So I'd like to invite Rick forward with the rings please. Mike, would you like to take the ring you give it to your wife? If you place it on the finger she is to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> and if you say these words to her Mike, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. 
as a symbol, as a symbol of my commitment, of my commitment to our marriage. To our marriage. I promise to love. I promise to love. Cherish. Cherish. Honor and honor, respect you. And respect you. <laughs> <laughs> From this day forward. From this day forward. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. <laughs> Susan, if you can take the ring you give to your husband, and place it on the finger where he is to wear it, and say to Mike, I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my commitment. Of my commitment. To our marriage. To our marriage. I promise to love. I promise to love. Cherish. Cherish. Honour. And honor, respect you. And respect you. <laughs> From this day forward. From this day forward. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Now I'm going to ask you both to take your seats while I invite Daniel forward for our second video. I like you. <laughs> by, by Sondal Stodard Warburg. I like you and I know why. I like you because you're a good person to like. I like you because when I tell you something special, you know that it's special and you remember for a long, long time. You say, you remember when I told you something special? And we both remember. I like you because when I think something's important, you think it's important too. We have good ideas. <laughs> I like you because when I say something funny, you laugh, and you think I'm funny, and I think I'm funny too. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I like you because you know where I'm ticklish, and you never tickle me there, <laughs> except a little bit, occasionally. And if you do, I know where to tickle your back. <laughs> I like you because you know how to be silly. Boy, are you ever silly. I never met anyone sillier than me until I met you. I like you because you know when it's time to stop being silly. Maybe the day after tomorrow. Maybe... Never. Too late. It's quarter past silly. Sometimes we don't have to say a word. We snorkel under fences and spy secret places. If I'm a doofus on the roofus hollering my head off, then you are one too. If I'm pretending to drown, then you're pretending to save me. If I'm getting ready with a paper bag, then you're getting ready to jump. Hooray! And that's because you really do like me. You really do like me, don't you? And I really like you back. And you like me. And I like you. And that's the way we go on. Each and every day. If you go away, then I go away too. Or if I stay at home, then you send me a postcard. You don't just say, oh, See you around sometime. Bye. I really like you because of that. And if I go away, I send you a postcard too. If we go away together and we're at Grand Central Station, if I get lost, then you're the one hollering my name. I like you because when I'm feeling sad, you don't always cheer me up straight away. You know that sometimes it's better to feel sad. You can't stand the others who are always googly and gaggly every single minute. You want to think things through. You like to take your time. I like you because when I'm mad at you, you're mad at me too. It's awful when the other person isn't. When they're so nice and hoo-hoo, you want to punch them in the... 
nose. I like you because, oh, I can't remember why. So many reasons. I like you because if you find two four leaf clovers, you give me one. If I find four, then I give you two. We don't always have good luck. But if we do, well, if I break my arm, and if you have a broken arm too, then it's fun to have a broken arm. I tell you about mine, and you tell me about yours, and we are both sorry. We write our names and draw pictures. We show everybody, and oh, they wish they had a broken arm too. <laughs> I like you. There's so many reasons. I can't remember when I didn't like you. It must have been lonesome. On the 4th of July, I like you because it's the 4th of July. On the 5th of July, I like you too. If you and I had hats and drums and whistles and flags and horses and fire engines, then we could be a holiday, we could be a celebration, we could be a whole parade. See what I mean? I'd like you, even if it was the 999th of July, I'd like you into August, I'd like you deep into November, I'd like you if it was no particular time in January. And that's the way it would continue. I'd continue choosing you and you continue choosing me, each and every day. I like you because I don't know why. I guess I just like you. I guess I just like you. I guess I just like you because I like you. <laughs> <laughs> Right, okay, um, right, it's been a little bit haptic, I know it's a bit late, uh, very late for my vlog, I'm sorry about that guys, I'm so sorry, um, it's just, things have just been uh, a bit, uh, a little very, very busy, uh, to say the least, uh, with the wedding and stuff, yeah, again, sorry about that guys, um, But anyway, um, without further ado, I'm going to have it uploaded. Um, anyway, uh, my sister and her boyfriend did get married, um, as you can see. Well, maybe not. Um, I don't know, I'm going to probably, uh, probably just... Uh, send them the footage or something uh, uh, I don't know what what I'm going to do uh, what decision I'm going to make um, but um, please do bear with me whatever decision I make and um, enjoy the rest of your weekend and see you soon in another video